Hi everyone. In today's video, we will take a look at Miro AI. Now this feature is still in beta at the time of recording, uh, but it is available for all the Miro users. Uh, and we'll just take a look at some of the features and some of the things that you can do with Miro AI. Uh, and so to begin with, uh, let's just quickly create a posted note uh, and let's just say, you know, a wind farm in the middle of the ocean. So now I have this post note and you know, you might have something else as well. Uh, what you can do is you can click on this Miro AI context menu and then click on a few options from here. For this particular demo, what we'll do is we'll just generate an image. So after some time, it will generate an image based on what you have written uh, and of course you can keep doing this either keep retrying this with the same posted node or generate images from different posted nodes that you have on the board uh, and of course you can these buttons are to either keep try again which is to try and generate the image again or even discard if you do not like the image now what we can also do is we can click on the uh, keyboard shortcuts then this is for windows the keyboard shortcuts command or control k uh, and then this brings up a command palette uh, and as you can see over here we have some miro ai options in here as well uh, so we can try out a few of these examples uh, one of them is to generate sticky notes uh, and over here what we have is a few options so let's just click on this one of course you can type your own question in here as well uh, but let's just use one of the examples uh, to make it easier to understand in this video so what to pack for a hiking trip if i click on that miro ai generates the list of what i can pack for a hiking trip and it pastes over here in the miro board now what I can also do is I can highlight all of these posted notes uh, and then I can use Miro AI to either cluster them by keywords, cluster them by sentiment. And now this is useful if you are, um, you know, selecting all the feedback posted notes, you can cluster them by sentiments. Now, or you can just summarize it. So if I just summarize it, I see that it just summarizes all of the list into one posted note. But of course, if you were, uh, this is a list and that's why it sort of summarized it as a list as well. Uh, but if you were summarizing different content from different posted notes, uh, you would get a more reasonable posted note as the summary. So what we've seen so far was a Miro AI with sticky notes and with images. Uh, but of course, you can also use Miro AI to generate code uh, just using a natural language prompt. So you just type in what you, what type of code you want and Miro AI will generate it for you. Uh, you can also use cards uh, to write acceptance criteria and write stories uh, using Miro AI. Uh, you can also use Miro AI to create sequence diagrams and all you have to do is just give it a prompt uh, of what type of diagram you want and Miro AI will do the rest. Uh, and then similarly, uh, you can also create mind maps using Miro AI. Uh, so mind maps can be expanded as well if you just select the context menu uh, on each node uh, and it will add, Miro AI will add to the list of items or a list of the nodes uh, in the mind map. Miro AI is only available for members. So as a guest user, as anonymous user, let's say, uh, or, or visitors, uh, Miro AI won't be available for them. So you would have to log in to Miro.com uh, to use Miro AI. So that was a quick video on Miro AI. Please do like this video, share this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And of course, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Miro AI. That's all for this video. Stay tuned for more to come on this channel. See ya.